It's time to finish this bloody demo. We've still got the floors, that's pretty much all we have left is the tiles and the carpet. So we're gonna start ripping that up today. I have just hired the tile jackhammer. So we'll get that out. It's a Hilti from Canards. It is a pretty shitty day. Raining, it's dark in here. The only real light is that skylight. I'm actually glad it's, uh, they put it there. It's a dodgy one. It doesn't leak, but it does give a bit of light. But at least I've got all these uni lights. Beautiful. So what we've got is what they call an easy hammer. It's basically just a jack hammer. Nice big hilty. And we've got a couple of bits there. And this goes down on an angle. Pull this trigger, goes down on the angle. I think that's about the angle. Let's go down further. There you go. You can get it nice and low. It's on wheels so you can push it. We'll see how easy that is to push actually. We'll throw these on. Got these ones in the tile lifter. Awesome. I did just have a thought though. Obviously this is 240 volt powered, so it's on a lead. I got a delivery the other day for a power supply from EcoFlow, which I've been meaning to use. Not bad, not bad. It's sort of like the size of a normal car battery. Oh, what have we got? got? AC plugs there. Cigarette lighter. All your charging. USBs, USB-C, even with a 100 watt USB-C, that's very nice. Fast charge USB, 99 hours, 100%. All right, let's see if this works. Well, that works. Yeah, right, that's, uh, that's gonna suck the juice out of that, but that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So 800 watts, which is a fair bit, not even being under um, load. So once we put those blades on, we'll see what it goes up to. But if we want to figure out how much amperage, how much current's going through, what you normally do is we'll go through, so it's, uh, what do you got, P? You usually do it like in a triangle, P, I, V. And they usually put it in a triangle for you. And what you want to do there is if you want to find out, say you want to find voltage, you do power, which is your wattage, your watts. I is your current, which is your amps. And voltage is obviously your voltage. So here it's 230 volt. So if you want to find out voltage, you do your power divided by your amps. If you want to find your power, you do your amps times your voltage. We obviously want to find our amperage. So you do power, which is 800 divided by your voltage, which is 240, which comes out to 3.4 amps. 3.4 amps, that is doing. So, yeah, we'll see if this goes all right. I was just looking in the book, making sure I don't overload it. But it says here, the AC outlets is 1400 watts, which is pretty much double what that's doing, and a surge of 2100. Not bad, not bad. It's not going to last long. close to an hour, so it was very close to what it was saying. Did a pretty good job. This stuff is stuck down really, really well. That glue is very good. <laughs> Not for me, but obviously did a good job.
Wanted to shout out one of the sponsors of this video, Tradeify. They have a job management app which will help you with your business. They are trusted by more than 30,000 tradies and they have a deal at the moment, 50% off the first three months when you use my code. All the details will be in the description. It's worthwhile checking out. There you go, the wife's into it. First time pulling up carpet? The knife. And the gloves. Oh my god. How do you even get the gloves? I don't know. Might have to use the scraper. No. It's... If it's all stuck, I don't know how they no, come. I think it's... Oh, there you go. Ooh. It's just the outsides. Okay. Good. So I accidentally bought this one. I didn't mean to get it with the, the blunt end, but if you haven't used it yet, I'm gonna swap it out with the uh, DeWalt one the missus was just using. She was just using a normal Stanley. But I believe this one gets stuck under the carpet. I think they're usually used for cabling. I've never used one of these ones. I think the cabling ones are a little bit different. That just gets stuck under. If I can do it one-handed. Oh, I'll see if she can do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh yeah. That's that better? Way better? Yeah. Way better. Yay. Very good. And we'll just take this to the dry cleaner. chisel in here this was originally the laundry there is no drain and found it under here looks like they've bagged it up poured concrete around so the concrete wouldn't go down there and then just vinyled over it I just can't understand why this was a functional laundry so <laughs> strange carpets all up carpets up Carpets up. Tiles are fully up. I think this is just gonna be vinyl floorboards, which is what we did in the last house. They were really good. All through here is nice. Just gonna get that bit of glue up. Gotta go through and clean up all the sides. This one, I don't know about this. I may have to leave this here. It was actually not something that was foreseen. When we took down everything in here, which is all cupboards, we didn't realize uh, that this was here. This, we figured that the back was just uh, the structure. So, and realistically, we do want a beam because we're gonna put doors there, but we want the beam further back. And we don't really want it this low out here. So at the moment, oh, we'll have to wait for the engineer. I have a feeling that this could be structural. So we're definitely gonna leave that. But yeah, we'll uh, go through. I'm just setting up the new Makita vac, the 40 volt. It's got the two batteries, two four amp hour, should go all right, eh? 